viewers welcome to my channel my name is Alicia and um, I thought I'd create this video series um, to kind of share a little bit about my work in the effort to inspire the viewers or if you read in my work to inspire readers <laughs> um, essentially all my work is inspirational and so um, I thought rather than keeping it kind of segregated to just written material in books, I'd do a video series in the hope that I can share more of what I do um, to kind of support and encourage and empower you, the viewer, um, by sharing some of my written material and at the same time um, also share some of the teachings and many, many things that I've learnt as a channel writer and automatic writer. A lot of what comes through to me um, comes through instantly, but when I reflect on it, I like to share what I felt has come through to inspire you and inspire others and just basically encourage you to get through your day or to overcome any challenges that you're facing throughout your day, throughout your week, throughout your month, throughout your year even. But um, essentially, yeah, this is a big step for me because um, as, a, as a writer, I kind of have my own space and uh, write stuff rather than put myself in front of the camera to talk a lot about what I do or what I'm doing um, but this is a kind of step in a new direction for me in the sense that um, I feel it's great to be able to communicate with people and engage them in what you're doing and at the same time you can also try to get across your messages or your understanding in a way that um, may not come across in the same way as um, written material or through your books because not everyone um, goes and buys books so I thought this video series I could share a lot about what I do in the not to just share what I do with you but share it in a way that can reflect and inspire you and motivate you and empower you to kind of um, sort of take control of your life in a powerful way because a lot of us stuff I do is kind of soulful stuff um, and um, even if that's not your kind of thing just sharing some affirmations or daily inspirations with you um, is a great way I think to to start off the series naturally as we go along you know just tell me what you like or what you'd like to see more of or what you'd like me to talk more about but um, for my first video I kind of I'm just winging it <laughs> so to speak I'm just winging it to see how it will come across and you know I don't even know if people will like it or not but um, I thought I'd give it a go put it that way there's no there's no harm in trying um the reason i got the courage to do this is uh i was doing a series with my son called mum and son it's also on my video channel so you can check that out if you want to but um that kind of gave me the confidence to think you know what i can take this one step further and also share a little bit of my teachings and, and soulful work and things like that with you. So like, I'm really, really pleased that you're here and listening to me. And um, yeah, I'm just kind of getting started with this. So we'll see how it goes. And hopefully um, one of the things I'd like to do is kind of do it on a regular basis so that I can build up um, you know, a, a following or subscribers and, you know, as we journey along together, um, I'm hoping that you will grow as a person and I will grow as a, as a person and that by this interaction, we can help each other in some way, or at least I hope I can. <laughs> I mean, who knows? But um, yeah, um, 
I've learned a lot as as this process this writing process that I do has evolved over the years and um, you know I can uh, probably in another video or as things go along I don't want to bombard you with my personal story because this series is kind of about you and what I feel or I aim to do to help you um, rather than talk too much about myself but as we go on I'm, I'm quite happy if people say oh tell me a little bit more about you I'm happy to go ahead and do that but um, you know for now um, I'm an inspirational author and that's what I do I kind of like to inspire people and um, as I said I've kind of done it through the written word but now I thought I'm going to do this um, on video and see how that pans out because it's a great way to translate what I do into, you know, a verbal format and into a kind of engaging format with you, the viewers. So, yeah, thanks so much for uh, um, and joining me. And, um, yeah, the usual, isn't it? Stick a thumbs up if you like what I've done so far and so on and share what I'm doing if you like what I've what I've got to say um kind of at the moment I'm just rambling because it's my first my first video so bear with me but um yeah today um I thought about um a passage I wrote that says um the decision to create wealth ensures the wealth you wish to attain will be duly received and um, I had to kind of reflect on that a little bit. And um, this is what I do, because when when you write in this way, some of the things you write, you don't kind of know at the time. So or fully have time to take in. Um, so it's only later when I read stuff, I can reflect on it and share the positives of what has come through to me. But with this one, I think it's talking a lot about um, making decisions. And um, I feel that making decisions in your life is absolutely key. Um, because I feel indecision is so debilitating that it can literally leave you or have a stranglehold on you and your life and um, if you are indecisive for a long period of time you're literally holding yourself back in every way shape and form so um, I guess today um, based on that passage what I'm going to do is talk about um, how to kind of make decisions quickly how to once you've made a decision how to then try and act swiftly once you've made that decision um, because what I realized as um, part of this whole process with the, with the decision making is it's not necessarily the fact that you um, have had difficulty making the decision it's also once you've made the decision what do you do how do you act swiftly um, and that's another thing that is really worth talking about. But, you know, coming to a decision is really coming or seeing a situation from an empowering place. Um, for example, um, if you if you find it hard to make a decision, so often you're kind of saying to yourself, um, I may need to rely on others to make this decision for me or I may need to um, depend on others to make a decision for me where in truth the decision lies within or often lies within um, and part of this video series I'm going to cover how to tap into that inner soulful strength that will help you do things like make decisions um, but for now because this is the first video I don't want to get make it too heavy I want to keep it light you know keep it short 
and sweet so that it's something that you can say, right, I watched that, I got something out of it and, you know, I look forward to the next one. Um, but essentially, yeah, just try to be decisive, look within and try to, you know, weigh out the pros and cons as quickly as possible. Um, you know, what will be the benefits? What will be the negatives? You know, what are you going to learn as part of this decision process? Is this decision going to take you out of your comfort zone? Are you afraid to step out of your comfort zone? If it's going to take you out for your comfort zone, feel empowered to take that step. Feel empowered to come out of your comfort zone in a way that supports you. Or even if you're fearful, you can say, I need to do this or let me just try. Let me see if I can do this. Let me see if I can take this simple step. And once you kind of get over yourself in a way, and I know this because I've been, I've, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm no different to you. I've been through this myself um, as part of this decision making process. But once you kind of get over yourself and say, I need to make this decision. How is how important is it going to be that you make this decision? Very important, because once the decision is made and I, I'll say this to you, whether good or bad, because at the time you make the decision, you don't know if it is going to be a good decision or a bad decision. But whether good or bad, you need to make the decision because that allows you to move forward that allows you to start stepping outward beyond yourself and your fears or your worries and it allows you to take a step in a new direction i think that's the key taking a step in a new direction that's going to move you forward because the thing with indecision is you're stuck you can't make the decision so you're not moving forward or backward you're literally stuck. And regardless of the situation, whether it's to do with love, whether it's to do with family, whether it's to do with, you know, life challenges, job decisions, moving decisions, whatever, the key is to make the decision. Because after that, everything else is so much more easier. Like once you've made the decision, everything that follows is easy peasy because you have the decision behind you, because you have the decision now, you can say, OK, I can move in this direction. I can move in that direction. I can take my decision and let it carry me forward. You know, is it going to carry you forward towards success or failure? You may not know at the time that you make that decision, but whatever the next course or path you take, takes you in a new direction whatever the outcome you're going to learn something by that process and the thing about decision making and moving forward and you know in my passage it said the decision to create wealth ensures wealth or the wealth that you wish to attain will be duly received now in that passage i talked about decisions but i also linked it to creating wealth for yourself, creating success, creating abundance and kind of a decision to move in a wealthy direction or a successful direction or an empowering direction in your life still requires you to make that decision that, hey, this is now going to now move me to the next level. Or if you're trying to attain wealth, it's going to move me forward towards wealth if you're trying to attain success move me forward towards success or empowerment obviously when i get these channeled writings and i reflect on them you know everyone if you read my work you can reflect on it in your own way i always like to give a little bit of insight and so on but that's my view obviously you may read one of my passages or something i've written and it may 
resonate in a completely different way to you. So I always encourage people that are reading my work to um, view it from their own standpoint. I can give reflections and insights, but you can reflect in your own way. You can ask for answers in your own way. And um, I'll show you more of that process as we go along. But for now, I think I've spoken too long, haven't I? Um, maybe I have, I don't know. Maybe some of you said, no, no, carry on. Some of you said, nah, I've had enough. That's gone on for too long. But, you know, whatever. Um, I'm just getting started here. So um, it's great to have you listening to me. But, yeah, just to kind of wrap things up with the decision-making, try to come to decision as fast as you can. Um, weigh up the pros and cons. You may think, oh, I can't make the decision because what if I fail? Well, we don't know. Failure might be on the cards by a decision that you make. But hey, it's not the end of the world because everything is a learning process and an ongoing process. We are all evolving as we go along. So by all means, when we try and make a decision, we want it to be the right one because we don't want to look back with regret. We don't want to look back, uh, you know, and say, hey, we failed. Um, hey, I thought I was doing the right thing, but, you know, I failed. Um, we don't want that. But we don't know at the time that we make a decision. Um, as we get on, I'll talk a little bit more in depth about, you know, how to use sulfur connections to kind of steer you in the right directions to make sure that you do make the right decisions but for now as I said let's keep it light and um, the more you follow me the more uh, my teachings and um, what I have to say and share will evolve and you'll get to know me a lot more um, through my work and, and what I do but essentially let's keep it to helping you today get through whatever it is whether you've got decisions to make um and we often do every day we're kind of confronted with choices and decisions so uh, we'll talk a little bit about that a lot but with this passage you know it's just to encourage you that whatever you decide to do that decision is key and in making a decision you open the doorway for the things you want to come to you quickly. If things are slow and not progressing fast, then you have to kind of evaluate whether you really have made a decision or is there, is there still, okay, you may have said, I've made the decision, but within your heart, within your soul, you may still be questioning what it is that your decision is and yeah I made the decision but I don't know if I really want to go with it or if I don't know if I really want to do it um, the key is make that decision go with it and what I said earlier act try to act swiftly on the decision because if you make the decision but you long it out then it's not a decision in the sense that it's still you're being indecisive along the way because you've not acted on that decision. The key to invite abundance, to invite wealth, to invite positivity, empowerment or whatever it is you want in your life, make the decision and act swiftly because your swift action, obviously we're going to cover all these things, you know, um, even in my mum and son series, um, we do cover things like this. But obviously on my own, I'm going to take things to a deeper level um, because obviously I really do want to share the depth of stuff with you so that you can be strengthened and empowered in your life, in your own way. So there we go. So, well, I hope you've enjoyed this series really and truly. I do feel I've rattled on a bit too much longer than I should have. But, um, yeah, I'm going to do more. So um, if you like this one, I would love to have you with you on the next one. And um, as always, um, leave your comments below if there's anything you think you'd like me to talk about, um, whether it's to help you or whether you want to know a little bit more about my work let me know I'm happy to share what I do I've also recently 
um, started a Patreon page. So if you like what I do and you want to support me so that I can do more of this and uh, do more writing and do more, I do meditations, lots and lots and lots and lots of things to inspire you. So um, to help me kind of focus on that work, if you love what I do, um, yeah, please feel free to support me. Um, I, I love that kind of support because it means I can focus on this and do more of it for you um, and help you in every way that I can or in, in, in every way possible. So um, I'll leave some details in the comments below um, and um, yeah, like, share, subscribe um, if you feel that, that what I've said today um, can has helped you or can help anyone else feel free to um, you know let them know about this channel and what I'm doing and my work and um, yeah um, share it around and uh, we'll we'll continue to build on this I'm keeping it light though for this for this first one but we'll build on this and we'll we'll do more more work on ourselves and we'll learn from each other. So um, thanks so much for joining me. And uh, I really look forward to um, having you on my next uh, share or not having you, but, you know, have you join me on my next on my next video. Um, um, and I'll bring that out as soon as I can or as quickly as I can. So uh, appreciate your company and have a great day. Speak to you or speak to you as if I. <laughs> this is the thing about doing things live. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Love and light. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.